Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Relics, and today we are going to finish Halo CE. So the final mission is the Mall. Again, this is my brother versus brother legendary run competition. Uh, I have my total scores up to this point, ready to go. So right after we finish the mission, I will give you my final score, kills, deaths, and time. Um, uh, if you guys haven't followed along with my brother's live streams. Uh, and my scores, of course, you guys will probably know that, yes, I will actually beat my brother this year. Um, as far as I can tell... Yep. Yeah, I have actually, according to this log, I have beat him in every single score to this day. Um, he has yet to do Keys and Maul. And I'm doing my mall right now, so, uh, so that'll be a good, interesting point to you know throw out there that I did beat him in every mission this year. So, kind of, kind of a no-brainer that yes, I will win. So, a little unfortunate for my brother. So I do apologize for that. Um, score is on. There we go. So, again, just like the other missions. Uh, First half, I did great. I, I made four new records, but the past so many have not been so great. So I don't deny that I've had a rough time with the flood missions. Um, a little shocked, to be honest. Uh, library, five deaths. Two betrayals, five, four deaths. Keys, four deaths. Keys was one of those I shouldn't have as much trouble as I did, and yet I did. If you guys watched the last video, if you haven't, go check it out. Go check out all my videos up to this point. Join us for the final match afterwards. If not, thank you for watching all the way through. Uh, let's get started. So yeah, uh, I don't remember what the record was. I don't think I made it last year. I'm not sure. I don't think I did last year, but we'll see. I'll have to double check that. Either way, um, am I necessarily going for a record? No, not really. Am I going to do my best? Naturally. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the ride for this one because uh, it's going to be an interesting one. So I question if you guys do it the same way we do it. Um, I'll show you guys what we mean once we uh, get to the engine room. But uh, yeah, the Covenant and the Flood here are quite difficult at times. So a little bit of RNG, just a little bit. Um, it depends on how you play the game, is what I say. So let's just get started. So we get a plasma rifle, an assault rifle, and two grenades each. So it's not too bad. Um, I don't like the AR. If you guys have been following along, you know I hate it. Just gonna throw a grenade down there. So, there were carrier forms, but they unfortunately died to all these sentinels already, so don't get any points for them. But get a nice combo kill there, so save a grenade for that. And then right here, use the plaza rifle and frags. Look at that shotgun. Oh. Alright, so I'm on this magnet. There we go. And you get points for that guy. That sucks. There you go. Oh boy. <laughs> didn't see that coming. I didn't think that was a carrier, but it was. Alright, let's just hang back a little bit. Might be another carrier. It might blow me up. Alright. Alright. Thankfully, we got med kits coming up. Kill these guys real quick so they don't kill me. Grab the flood's attention. The covenant inside the lunchroom will uh, distract them. There's a hunter on my right side, actually. Take him out. Go over here. Let me get that med kit before I die. Over here. 
Take that guy out. Alright. And then the rest is a matter of patience. Taking our time, do things right. Uh, make sure you get some ammo. Fortunately, I don't have any grenades, so I'm gonna actually drop my shotgun right now. And use this. Yeah. Okay. So it is disappointing that I don't have grenades, but hopefully they elite drop grenades that I can use. Because these guys all drop grenades no matter what. Oops. Bad throw. <laughs> guy still has shields up. That's not good for me. Oh! That guy shot so fast. Alright, so now that the grunts are dead, only the elite is left. Nice shot, there you go. Perfect. Alright, so I didn't waste too much time, that's really good. The bridge. We made it. Did I lead out? Care for the fear odds. Alright, there we go. Alright, so something to keep a note is uh, if you watch this cutscene, the sentinels will break the glass. If you skip the cutscene, the uh, glass is still up. So we don't need to get hit too hard. I don't have any frag grenades, that's a little sad. But we'll make do. That it? Good. So we got one frag out of that, so that's pretty cool. Bless you. Hello. Get that elite. You die. That elite's the only thing I need to worry about. So. Oops. There we go. Alright. Uh, then we can pick up some ammo here. Fortunately, I don't have grenades now. A uh, little bit of a concern. For that reason, right there. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you have a chance to keep a plaza grenade, not, nah, you're in trouble, like I am. There's a good combo kill that you can get there, so. Missing out on points. Going. All right. Not too bad. All right. So skip this side. The sentinels got flood on this side. This one out because he has a shotgun. Don't want us. Don't want him killing us. And again, unfortunately, I don't have any grenades. That's not good. So we're gonna go over here. There's gonna be flood underneath us. Choose to shoot him, I guess. Hello. I 
only hope is they don't shoot me through the floor. I can take some grenades here. Because I do want grenades. I really do. This next part calls for it. As you guys can see there's a lot of flood on the inside there. That keeps coming here, right here. I keep killing them. All right, I think that might be it. No, no. All right, that should be good. Right there is a checkpoint, or a. Uh, a choke point where we can get more score, but I don't want to waste too much time killing them all, so I guess I could have tried and gotten more grenades. I'm not very uh, good set on grenades this time. So I killed the sentinels there. Woo! I kill the hunters. And over here, we can come over here. Ooh, I missed. We got him. One of them, at least. Can I reach? Yeah, that was a nice throw. So there's a flood and the covenant, or the sentinels over there. Get some points. All we need to do now is go over here to the armory, grab some ammo. And we're good to go. I'm gonna get rid of my pistol too. So we're gonna grab a rocket and just leave. You could stay and fight camo flood, but I don't want to waste time like that. So here, as I always say when you're making a decision, right is always right, I believe. So you can go either left or right. And I believe located. it's this side here. that we have to go to. And uh, Alert, it'll make it easier for us to traverse the, the engine room. We can't restart the count now. It's a little RNG. If option, we can move fast enough, we can despawn flood, and so they don't that spawn in our path, uh, right where that door don't is. Worry, I have access to all of so the if we move fast enough, we may be able to not see them. First, we need to pull back the exhaust couplings. That will expose the There's only one flood, so that's perfect. Usually, there might be a bunch of flood there, so we could do this. Activate the first one. And we're Good. use rockets Step to kill it. Complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to we destabilize go. the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion. Alright, perfect. Jump back up. I recommend we go to the other side because sentinels and flood are gonna come. We jump to this side. Oops. Located near the engine room's entrance. If you exchange Analyze. sides, it'll make it easier. Fusion reactor number one destabilized. The flood distracted me, so now uh, we may be in a little trouble here. Right. Jump back up. Jump go to the other side. Jump for the sentinels. Jump for the flood. Same thing, go to the other side. My 
god. The flood is spawning like instantaneously. Keep it up. Only one more fusion reactor to go. Alright. Yeah, let's get out of here. The engine's gone critical. We just got the proliferated decay. We should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. That flood I just killed. I that flood I just killed. He dropped a grenade and it blew up on me. I knew that was gonna happen. Engine room I was located. fearing that so much. That Alert. okay. So again, part of the flood is RNG, and that's one the of them. Uh, later on, there's gonna be moments where I'm gonna run things over, and if the flood drop grenades, they will blow up if it touches fire, and I will die. That is First very disappointing. So again, I wasted what? Maybe two minutes? That will expose a shaft I wasted two minutes doing this now? Drive core. So that's very RNG unlucky right there. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory so, station located near the engine room's entrance. Per that death, try to uh, kill not in the fire. He's flood keep coming back to life, and that's very annoying. here Get the flood on my way out this time did it the engine's gone critical based on the current rate of decay we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship i had a death and that cuts my score completely in half because i lose that streak there's a service lift at the top of the engine room it leads to a class 7 service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure hurry Stay back for a second. Wait for any fear rods to blow up. I don't want to die again. And I'm going to back up as well because I don't want to die to any of those grenades. Alright. So, disappointing death. But, gotta make do with it. Alright, Warhog Run, the infamous Warhog Run. Let's do it. We need mech kit. The mech is next to the Warhogs. Otherwise, good luck. Fear Rod! Woohoo! Shit, that was close. That was close. The explosion will generate a temperature of almost 100 million degrees. Don't make it close. You're kidding! How did I not make that? I've never missed that. Alright. Trick here. Zigzag. Then of course that's gonna happen. Alright, this is not going so well. We keep going. We keep going. We got plenty of time, but I want a multiplier, you know? I want to get a score. Just drive on through. Hopefully, you don't die. Boom, splat. 
Hope you don't get flipped by the Sentinels either. Don't worry about your HP. You have enough. I'm gonna skip right here and go right through here. Just that. Sentinels around the side. Through the middle again. Avoid the middle. I'm on the side. Uh, run the grunts over. Get the zigzag. Perfect. Go over here. Underneath. Avoid the turret. Cortana to Echo 419. Now Skip the sad part just by driving through. Echo 419. This is where dies. Is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. Cortana to Echo 419. Echo 419. She's gone. Calculating alternate escape route. Ships you want to stay in the middle as much as you can so you don't have to go over the bumps. Seven. If we move now, we can make it. Now we got a couple of grunts here and elites. We'll kill them over the fire. See on the left side there's gonna be some flood you can kill. Boom! Like that. Perfect landing. Alright, RNG. I've died many times here. Uh, the flames might ignite a grenade chain. We're okay though. Flood didn't drop any grenades. Tip, go on the outside. Whoa, little boy! Alright, good finish. Alrighty. Now we wait and see what we got. Just a funny moment from the game, you know, publishers Bungie. So yeah, I can't skip this, so we do have to watch it, guaranteed. That's okay. Um, I didn't do too bad, I don't think. And one death, very unfortunate. Uh, kind of out of my control. I mean, I could have killed him from a distance, but. I was trying to get through it as fast as I can, so. Very unfortunate death. But otherwise, the rest of it went without a hitch, so that's pretty good. Did anyone else make it? Scanning. <sighs> Just dust and echoes. We're all that's left. We did what we had to do, for Earth. An entire Covenant Armada obliterated, and the Flood. We had no choice. Halo, the 
it's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. music. Halo 1, best game in the franchise. Hands down. My opinion. <laughs> my opinion. Alright. Final score, 48,000. Clearly not close enough to my final, or my best record. Uh, even with that death, I don't think it would have came close. Probably 50-something. But you never know, right? I mean, the spree... Right, and then the time, the extra time, what was that, like two minutes I spent on those reactors and I died because of it. So that was kind of disappointing. Um, let's, let me write this in real quick just to get it out of the way. Uh, here's my KD 283 and one death. And in case you guys want to know, here's my kills as well. So, um, as far as the mall is concerned, I did better than last year as far as overall performance. I did die once last year, if you guys remember. I had 333 kills. This year I had 283, so I did 40 less kills. But I did better on time. Last year I did 2230. This year I did 2010. That's great. Saved me on multiplier. Uh... Score only won by 1,000-ish, so it's not a big difference. Again, the kill difference makes a huge uh, part, plays a, hard, uh, a huge part. But coming into the uh, coming into this final mission, uh, my final score up to this point was a 537k. Last year, my all my best all time was 564k total. So. After I tally this up, let's see what the new total is. That's going to be pretty impressive if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, obviously uh, having a 60 something K or a 564K record last year and I did a 48K here, I'm way over from last year. So again, as I get older, I'm doing better. And this is a new all time best Halo CE record for myself so congratulations to myself um again like always i will put the details into the description of this video so be sure to check that out if you guys can't uh visualize it i will post it in the description um but yeah uh, not much to do so let me uh let me back out here Did you guys listen to me music as I record this down. So I had a total of 585,171 score. That is my new all time best. Wow, that's insane. I just keep getting better and better with every year. Uh, with one death in that run, I had a total of 15 deaths. For Halo CE, that's actually pretty good. Um, considering I went five missions, that's half the missions: Deathless, uh, Guilty Spark, Truth, uh, Silent Cartographer, Truth and Reconciliation, Halo, and Pillar of Autumn. That's pretty good. I I am very impressed with myself. Uh, so on the control room, my death could have prevent been prevented. Maul technically could have been prevented. So little things here and there that. You know, it makes it a little bittersweet, but, you know, overall it's still a great performance. Total kills comes out to a 3524, so 3524. Again, kills, probably the least determining factor in this game. Uh, we don't really care as much. And with a 10 seconds addition, to, so that's one extra second. Four plus the twenty. 
bus to 238. Alright, so my final time comes out to be a 4 hours, 22 two minutes, and 1 second. Uh, comparison, let's go back to last year. Last year, so again, I beat my score about 21k. Approximately 21k difference from last year to this year. And that's best all time to new best all time. That's impressive. Kills, last year I got 3,411. 3, this year I got 3,524. Last year 17 deaths. Uh, one, two, three. Only four missions, zero deaths. This time I did 15 deaths with five zero death missions. Last year total of four hours, 33 minutes, 15 seconds. This year I cut that down by a whole 11 sec, 11 minutes and 14 seconds. So very impressive. I got faster. I got better at combos. Made new records. What else can I say? That's just incredible for myself. Um, yeah, so that's Halo CE. Uh, my brother will finish his live stream. Uh, as of this recording, he will have finished it this week. Uh, this is now. This will be posted on Friday for you guys. Uh, he will have finished it in real time yesterday, uh, Thursday. Uh, yeah, that's print. Real time, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, in the description of this video, I will actually post his results as well. Um, so, everything in the description. Be sure to look at the description for all the total results from uh, Halo CE for this year. Um, next up, we will play co-op, and and yeah. So then we'll move on to Halo Two. So, Halo Two, uh. Probably come in February, maybe March. I'm not sure. Uh, there are some other things that I may want to start up as well. Um, a hockey starting to get back up there again, and then I also I kind of want to start a Kingdoms of Amalur run. If you guys know the game, great. If you guys don't, please join in and watch. I'm going to try an Iron Man run. It is difficult. It is. I'm doing it on the hardest difficulty. Um, with handicaps too so we'll see uh, we'll see what I want to do I have yet to decide whether or not I'm going to do it or not uh, yeah we'll see we'll see what I have in store um, but for now that's it for Halo CE great run I'm very happy to play Halo 1 again I again if you guys were here from the beginning this is my favorite game of all time favorite game of all time I love it Everything about it is just amazing, except for two portrayals. I hate two portrayals. Screw this mission, but it was a blast. It was a blast to play again. Again, I play this every single year. Me and my brother compete since before even the record book is, was made, 2019. I've been competing since I was a kid. I have always loved playing Halo 1. I played hours on end, so yeah, it's great to always play it. I'm going to miss it because we only play it once a year. Uh, I could come back to it and just have fun, but yeah, I'm not sure. So we'll see. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So again, we do this every year. If you guys stuck around from last year, thanks. I we really appreciate that. And going to the next games, you know, we we'll keep going. And of course, every year we're going to be doing the same thing again until until I, my channel's no more or whatever. I'm going to keep playing Halo. Uh, Halo's at least 1, 2, and 3. Bungie era. Best Halo games ever. Um, can't say enough. Miss you guys. Miss Bungie. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens in Halo 2. Um, you, per the norm, I beat my brother in Halo 1, so no, uh, no real shocker there. But uh, that's not to say that he won't beat me in, a, in another Halo. Again, he beat me last year. He took Halos 3, 4, and 5. I did Halos 1 and 2. So, 
You never know what will happen. Halo 1 belongs to me. My favorite game of all time, so of course it's going to happen. But Halo 2 could swing the other way. You never know. Uh, we'll see what happens. So thank you guys for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you guys thought. Laugh at my death. My one and only death. <laughs> that was very unfortunate. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Just keep in touch with our competition as well as other content. Uh, again, my brother's channel is in the description. Uh, be sure to check his live streams out for his results as well. Uh, again, I will post them in the description of this video anyways, but you can go and check his video out anyways in case you want to see his perspective. And yeah, I, I will see you guys for Halo 2. So have a great day, and I will see you then. Bye-bye.